I'm Jagrati. You're watching Ignite Inspiration, inspiring the best in you. Today we are learning to hug from the heart. Today I have with me Helen Z, who is an amazing hugger and a teacher of conscious living and lifestyle. I met Helen at a tantric night where she was helping people connect to their deeper selves and in the process also connect with others in a much better way. Today, Helen is going to teach us the simple art of hugging. What I've discovered within my own journey is that when we hug with care and intent, we're actually not feeling like we're separate beings. And we're seeing children that they can just hug so liberally. And then as we get older and older, the hugging becomes sparse and sparse. And that leads to a state of disconnection within ourselves and how we actually feel that we can be dis disconnected from, from the world and our place around us. It's really quite interesting because I know that in adulthood, many of us will reserve a hug just for our lover or for our immediate family. And then what I find in my teaching when I teach through uh, intimacy coaching as well is that when we're attaching our hug only to a lover or to a, a discreet people in our lives, we then actually become attached to a relationship or we could become attached to a way of being that, that may not be suiting us any longer. So the, with the art of hugging, when we're doing that with care and when we're adding our heart into our hug, we're actually able to connect in a much, much deeper way for ourselves and for a person that's receiving as well. It can bring around uh, reconciliation, peace, love, and as well as um, reunion, reunion and, um, and union within yourself too. So the beautiful thing about hugging with heart is you need another person to do it with. So this is where I'd like to invite Jag to, to be my hugging partner today. Thank you, Helen. I'm really looking forward to hugging from the heart. Yeah, beautiful. So today I'd like to teach you an inspired hugging meditation that I've taken from the teachings of the great peace prophet Thich Nhat Hanh from Plume Village. And it involves a connection and a meditation in a hug of three breaths. And the first breath is to honor yourself and the connection to yourself. The second breath is to honor the connection to the other person that you're hugging with. And the third breath is to honor the connection of the two breaths being one in that space that we're hugging together with. And it starts and ends with a bow as well. We look at each other and we bow. We take a few deep breaths for ourselves to just connect into our own heart space and how we're feeling in this present moment. And then when we come to hug, we come to hug on the left hand side because that's where the electromagnetic field force is of our heart space. Not dissimilar to plugging in a mobile phone and charging it. That's where we charge through the electromagnetic forces of our heart and lead to that field of love. And then we'll hug three times deeply and intently and then we'll step away and we honour each other by bowing. You can practice this beautiful hugging meditation and find a deeper connection with others. Visit our blog at ignitebollywood.com.au forward slash blog and share your experience with us. As you know, this blog is an extension of Ignite Bollywood Dance Company and we like to invite our guests to show us their signature dance step. Helen, 
show it off. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. There's I can't a little bit, this is a little bit of the Greek in me coming through through my heritage. <laughs> so it's a uh, opa. <laughs> oh, nice. I like it. Opa. Opa. And a turn. Mean? Okay. Nice. What yay. Does, what does opa mean? Opa is like a, like a yay, like to opa. you, to you. It's an opa. It's a to you, to us, to this moment. Thank you. Mm. Thank you so much. Mm. <laughs>